Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to do one of probably two stationary hauls and if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> Alright, so there's a bunch here on the desk. Some of this I actually got late December, and then the rest of this I've gotten throughout the week. Uh, I am doing a second one, stationary haul, I mean, because there are some things that actually I'm still waiting on. <laughs> so I just wanted to show all of the things right now that we'll be talking about, and then just give you a status update on the jelly beans. My favorite jelly bean is the Juicy Pear which is this one right here. But I'm going to save those for last. My least favorite jelly bean is black licorice, but I will eat it because it's a jelly bean. <laughs> and it does, it does cleanse your palate in a really gross way. But let me put this away, let me get this organized, and I'll be right back. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this. I did get the 100 uh, colors of Crayola Super Tips from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link that below. These are all of the colors here. It's got them all there, but there are no names. Now, I was looking at them earlier, and they do have a number. I don't know if you can see it because I can barely see it, but these are different from every single pen. So I'll need to go uh, on, I guess, Crayola's website and see if I can color swatch, look at what the numbers are, and then write it down just because the pen or the pen tip or the pen cover is not the best indicator of what the color actually is. But I love these uh, because of the cost and I'll just need to be aware of what the colors are um, because I've seen a lot of people use these in their bullet journals and in their junk journals and in their lettering. I believe my friend Andy has these. Uh, I've been really inspired by her for a lot of things. And then I've been binge watching Riley Autumn and she uses these. And these are way more affordable than a set of Tombos. So I'll have to see, play around with them and see where they are functionally. But I thought it was a really good price and I'm just going to keep these in the box here. Again, I'll figure out what the colors are and if need be, I'll just um, put little labels on here to tell me exactly what the color is. But more importantly, uh, where, depending on where I'm going to be using this, where did I grab this from? Let's see there. Um, I'll need to color swatch in each of those things because depending on the color of your page, it'll change the color of your pen. I did pick up these wire clips also from Amazon, and this is strictly one of those purchases because you've seen it in a bunch of YouTube videos for bullet journalers. And the way they use it, I mean, if you don't watch a ton of bullet journal videos, <laughs> is they've got their aesthetic flat lay, their, their desk is totally beautiful, and then they open up their book and then they just keep it open like this and it's just a lot prettier than this. That's really the only reason I bought it is it's because it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna be that girl, but I can have that girl's tools. Oh, that sounds like I stole something. So while I have this out, I purchased this from Amazon. It has 160 GSM uh, dot grid paper. This is supposed to be the same weight as an Archer and Olive. I believe this was $17, which is crazy cuckoo nuts for a notebook. But the Archer and Olive start for the same size, I think around 30 to $38. There's, there's a range depending on the size and the paper and the whatnot. Now I don't have one of those. The paper is thick, but to be honest, I thought it'd be thicker. Now I did a pen test when I got it and 
I'll link this below. And from a thought perspective, by way of the paper, it works a treat. Um, in fact, for the black pens, the ones that ghost are the Mana Twin and a regular Sharpie. This is a Sharpie that you would use that's permanent. And even that, it's ghosting, but it's not really bleeding through. The rest of the black pens, there's some slight ghosting, especially if you have it down. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but like for the Tombows, these are all the Tombows that I have, they do really well. Some of these down here, there's some slight ghosting, but if you've worked in Astology or a Lois Term or, or even Happy Planner paper, uh, depending on the kind of pen you have, you could see a lot of ghosting or even potentially bleed through. I was surprised that the Monotwin actually looked a little darker than the Sharpie. So as paper thickness goes, it's good. I, I don't know why, I just thought it would be super, super thick, but it's definitely manageable. It is numbered, it is dot grid. It's a very faint dot grid, which I like. The only downside I would see to this is really the smell. And I don't know if it's this fake leather here. It smells, it feels nice to the hand, but it, it does smell a little weird. It's not totally chemically, it's not totally off-putting, and it is a little better since it's been out of the packaging. Um, it did come with some things. So it came with this, it came with this bookmark, and it came with this very flexible stencil and then the pocket as well. It does have an elastic closure, which is that right there. Now, I'm also going to tell you that I have two, three, three more bullet journals coming. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I, I, I've been obsessed over this New Year weekend and uh, I might have gone a smidgen crazy. Now this is the other one that I have on hand. This is a 100 a GSM paper and it is mim minimalist art again from Amazon and this one also has a strange smell because it's not leather. It could be the plastic or the pleather or whatever this is. I like this one because it is a definitely a more of a soft cover than the other one I just showed you, which is definitely more of a hard cover. Both of them are an A5 size. This one is not numbered. The dot grid is definitely more visible, although I think it's still usable. You can see, well hopefully you can see, that this one here is definitely more white than this one. This one definitely has more of a cream cast, but not as much as my Exceed notebook from Walmart, which definitely pulls more canary yellow, like a light canary yellow, if that makes sense. This one does not have a back pocket, although it does have a bookmark here. But this one here, I believe, was $8. So, you know, if you're looking to get a bullet journal that has a little bit thicker paperweight than like a Loish term, but maybe not so thick as something like this or an Archer and Olive or a Maisie Lane, then you may wanna look at something like this. Again, there is a smell to it, but it's definitely lessened since I opened it a few days ago. And you know whether or not you want your pages numbered or not, this one isn't, so you'd have to do it. I mean, I don't think that's that big of a deal breaker. So those are the two um, bullet journal notebooks that I have right now. Again, I, I think I have three more coming as well as one more order from Etsy. These I bought, I don't know why, but I thought they were smaller. I thought they would be smaller, but they're not. And it came in a, a four pack. One I gave to my mom, and then the other one I'm giving to my boss. And basically, uh, these are the colors that I gave to my mom, but it's a huge stack of post-it notes. 
and I thought that I could use these either in my Stology or in my journal as, you know, days of the week or whatever, but it's so pretty. <laughs> I just, I love looking at it. I love how it's sort of an ombre. I did jack some for my mom, but she's got an entire one like this. And then this is the yellow set. So you can see here that they're not exactly the same per set, if that makes sense. <laughs> But I just think these are just so pretty. And so I don't know if I'm going to, because I don't really have the desk space. So I'll need to figure out whether I'm going to take these to work, whether I'm just going to take these out when I'm journaling. Because if I'm journaling, then I, I have the desk space. But if I am working and trying to work on documents, I can't have this out because I just, I don't have the desk space for that, but I do at work. And because I have two, I might do the same thing where I just take some of the different colors and segment it because it is, that's how much paper comes with it. And then I just love the packaging of it. And again, I'll link this below. This was also from Amazon. This is some washi that I had ordered because I was looking for some of the grid ones that my friend Andy had sent to me, but in, pinks. So these are the seven that my friend Andy had sent to me um, as a Christmas gift. And then these are the seven that I recently picked up. And there are no duplicates, which I am very happy about because when I was ordering, sometimes with the, the coloring on the screen, I was worried that these two would be the same, but they're not. And I think they're very complementary of each other. And now I have some greens, some browns, some blues, some blacks, some grays, and some pinks. And so for this grid type of washi, I think I'm pretty much covered and it does come with quite a bit on the roll. Now my next um, project is to find space for them. <laughs> and so that is it. Yeah, from my Amazon purchases. Uh, this I picked up from Etsy. I believe I had seen this shop in someone's video. And this is Sticky Mo on Etsy. I haven't opened it. And so let's see what she had sent me. Her name is April. And, oh, how cute. Let me take this out of the packaging. So this here is a freebie of the puppy eating a pizza, as they do. And then these are 2021 calendars on craft paper. These are also stickers. And I will be putting these in my Happy Nietzsche. And so it's just the entire year. I love that, that's so pretty. And I bought some in white as well. And again, this is for all of 2021. It's on white sticker paper and it's in a different font. And so if for any reason there was a month where I didn't want to use craft paper, I would have this option. Plus, uh, since I'm doing other things like my Stology, like my upcoming bullet journal, I didn't think you could have too many monthly calendars. And then I bought some day headers and I bought the same font, one in white, one in craft paper. I don't think you can have too many of these and I love that it looked like a typewriter font and so that's why I picked that up. And so I will link her shop below, definitely go and check her out. I love that she lettered my name like that. That's just so awesome. And then this is an order from Christy Marie Designs. I've talked about her before. She's the one that has the day headers that I generally use in my Happy Nietzsche. She's also the one that makes these awesome stencils. And so this is her little freebie packet. So I'll take a look at this last, but this is my order from her because I was running a bit low. Okay, so Christy. Christy, Christy. 
these are the things that I ordered from her. So these are the font that I have been using that you've been seeing on my channel. It's basically this, but these are smaller so they can fit both in the section where I do my meals and my horoscope, but also they would coordinate with this. Now I also did an uh, order from Lux Clever Craft, so I'm just waiting on that. So I'm going to have lots of different options of what I can choose for my dailies. I did pick up some of these date dots I think they're handy um, when they come in uh, just black because some of the problems I have on a weekly basis is I want to use numbers but they're on transparent paper and these are not so I think that's great and then I did pick up another sheet of what I had this is on matte paper and then I picked up a sheet of her bold script uh, I haven't had this one before but again you can't have too many day headers but then, but then, she sent me this here, and she said she was inspired by the washi. <laughs> oh my goodness. And so she had made these. These are on matte clear sticker paper. And so you do have to cut them, but that means they're also Trans oh my god, they're transparent. That is so awesome. And she's got them, oh, so she's got really thin ones. She's got like a medium size one and she's got a thick, oh my goodness, Christy, you just blow my mind. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna have to use these today. And then that's her note. I'm gonna actually put that in my bullet journal. And then let's look at what the crazy woman sent to me by way of thank you. Ugh. All right, so this is a little freebie to new beginnings. I love me some botanicals. So this is so cute right here. Oh, it's a watering can. I'm like, what is that? Is that like a thought bubble? Nope. It's a watering can. <laughs> In 2021, love the greens. That's her shop, Christy Marie Designs. Definitely go ahead and check her out. Oh, look, my name. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> I have a thing about my name, <laughs> so yeah. And then some of these little sampler cards. Look at the bears. Oh. Oh, and she gave me some of these credit music oh, voiceover because I, I do YouTube videos. Oh, that's cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this tiny little baby. Oh, oh it is her tiny acrylic washi cutter oh I love that and and yet it's super functional you take this thing off when you're not hanging it to stay out of the way and it makes I think a very nice box so if you outlined something like with gold and then you put this centered in the middle, you'd have a really, I mean, you could use all this. It is an inch and a half from that little ruler right there. You've got the little label that fits perfectly. You've got the both the circles and the squares if you want to make some trackers. That is adorable, and of course, because it's Christy, her chain matches, because of course it does. <laughs> oh my goodness, my dear. That is so awesome. You definitely need to check her out. This, this blows my mind. It really, I mean, I know she's a creative woman, but that just, it blows my mind. And then this tiny little, tiny little, tiny little thing makes my hands look even bigger. <laughs> but it's also very functional and I think no yeah that's black pen that won't come off because I used a sharpie but because the way that it's constructed 
if I were to use this as a washi cutter, I wouldn't have to worry that I would crack this because I exert a lot of pressure down. I know I don't have to, but I do because I've got big Samoan hands, but yeah. I love that. And that's just going to hang right here on my pen cup with the others so I don't lose it. And then my big stencil that I ordered from her, it's just slotted to the side so that I keep it within arm's reach. I will be uh, saving some of this and putting it in my Happy Nietzsche um, and just yeah, it's it's Sunday the 10th and I, I've been waiting a few days now to open this up and oh my god you guys just ugh, it's so beautiful so that's it for me for now go ahead and check the links down below for the amazon if you're interested uh, definitely go ahead and check out april's shop sticky mo as well as christy marie designs clearly these ladies just do some phenomenal work that's it for me for now guys and as always aloha